All right, guys. We are here in Asheboro, North Carolina. Picking up a load going down to Madison, Georgia for tomorrow. Now, we have all we have to run today is 7 hours and 40 minutes. Not too sure how long it's going to take to get loaded here. But they tell me in, in the messages here that if this thing would ever work, I could tell you what the message said. All right, let's see. Uh, 4, I don't know if it's 4,336 or 43,000. So they might have, I don't think you're only picking up 4,000 pounds of paper. I have the tarp. Uh, it has to be down there tomorrow. Bow, 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 by nine o'clock in the morning. So, whoop, oh, hold on. Double them up? Yeah, it's gonna be all the way across the bed. All right, everybody, we're loaded, strapped, but now we have to tarp. So, I am like literally right in the middle of the way. So I'm trying to move down here out of the way. So I don't get yelled at anymore. Yeah, you see me with my four ways on trying to back up, but yeah, you bang your freaking Yui right in front of right behind me. Crackheads, I'm telling you, crackheads. <sighs> freaking day cabs, I'll tell you. I don't care. Just, I'm gonna back up down here so that I can get out of their way, like I said, because I am. Um, I got a tarp now, and this way, if I'm up and out of their way, like I said, I don't get the ugly looks and people ask me what I'm doing. I mean, it's clearly, I'm getting loaded, but you know, hey, what do I know? I would not know. I would not have to explain it to you there, person. trying to go easy so not to uh, so not to run over the railroad tracks or to drop my tarp I put my top up on top of the load yeah we should be out of people's way now all right picture of this. Give you guys a view of what we got over here. I am pretty sweating. Uh, give me a minute, Max. This is what we're picking out. So it could be only 43,000 pounds. That's it. Five bundles. We're going to tap it and then we're out of here. So let me run to the bathroom real quick. Alrighty guys, there she is, all top. We're not at the shipper anymore. We came over here to exit four in South Carolina, right before Georgia. They put one bundle back here. So everything else, it, it held up not too bad. 
Oh, hold on, he's got somebody over here. What's going on? How about if we just go pee and not worry about it? Yeah, so anyway, so we had to run down here. We, I mean, made it down to exit four. Um, we had to make it down here because we needed fuel, which we'll get tomorrow. But first, we need to take a shower. My arms are like so dirty. And uh, yeah, we did this to the strap. We put the strap on the back because we use a different tarp. It's a 12 by 20. And I couldn't for the life of me figure out how to get that dang thing to work. So we did that. And then we put one in that hole right there, pulled it down. And over there and over there and over there. I mean, look at this. I mean, it's, it's only cardboard, so it's not gonna hurt nothing. But I, what I used was the, um, oh, cardboard edge protectors that I got from the place. When we picked up that last load there and we delivered it, well, <coughs> they have um, cardboard edge protectors, so I just grabbed a bunch of those and put those on. Um, I, I asked the people before I did it what they wanted, if they wanted to rub, um, use the plastic or if they wanted to use those, so... He said it doesn't really matter, so I just said heck with it, just use the cardboard ones. That way we'll be all set now. We've got 90 miles to go tomorrow. We have to be there by 9. And then we have to be unloaded. I know, yeah. We have to be unloaded. And up in South Carolina by 11. I don't see that happening, but that's what they want. And then they want me in New York, all the way up, almost to the Canadian border, Thursday at seven in the morning. I got six hours and 47 minutes coming back, and then I got seven hours and like 30 minutes coming back. So, I don't know, I guess, I don't know. I guess we'll just see, because I'm not, I'm not arguing anymore. We'll see what happens. So that's what we got going on, guys. This ain't, like I said, this ain't a, isn't a big load, so it isn't going far. Um, wow, that guy's changed on that. He's got a reel. And the chains are literally just bouncing. That's not good. But anyway, so what we're going to do now is we're going to have supper. And then... Uh, Get up again early in the morning. It's early in the morning. Shit's getting to me. I'm tired. What we're going to do is get up because, like I said, I got to take a shower. Um, so, I don't know if the, how bad the traffic's going to be or anything. So, I'm probably going to end up having to leave early, early. So, we'll probably get up at 5 o'clock again so we can get showered. And then we're gonna go up and get fuel. And then we gotta head down there. We're going to Madison, Georgia. We're up and uh, we're taking 441 down, so I'm not really too sure what's, where we're going or whatever, but I guess we'll find out when we get there, right? So we'll keep you guys posted when we get there. So we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. All right, later. Later. Alrighty guys, we're here, we're not supposed to be filming, we're not down there yet, but you know, it's top secret, you know, making plywood, so they don't want you filming it. So, we're not going to be able to film once this line moves, and I think it's going to move here in a minute. So, we will get back to you guys as soon as we clear the area. Alrighty. Later.